When my wife and I first met, I was uh, unemployed. You know, after 2010, I bought a house in a short sale, and i pretty handy, so I went through all the apartments and I started rehabbing that house. So when we met, I had gotten into an argument with my old employer, and uh, I took a, a layoff. Okay. And so I was just working on my house and getting it fixed up. And we started dating. And she's like, hey, you know, it's been like three months. I've never even seen you look for a job. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't have a job because I don't want one, not because I can't get one. And she's like, I don't, I don't see the difference. Oh. She's like, you want this to go any further. Smart you know, girl. My mom thinks you're a jobless bum. Yeah. I'm on the fence. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, yeah. So that night, that was on a Sunday Love night. It. And I. Wait, I, wait, wait. Were well, you on the fence or you knew? No. Well, I told him that I wasn't going to continue dating him unless he went and found a job. Nice. Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. Lay, lay down the... Three months is enough time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen plenty. Yes. <laughs> so you'll, you'll see a pattern about how I respond to challenges. So uh, that night, I filled my resume out and put it up online. And the next morning, I had like 15 voicemails and I just plotted them out on a map and went to the one closest to my house. Guy made me a solid offer. I was employed by like 11 a.m. the next day. Good on oh. you. You're like, this woman's too important. I, I She's she's going to be in my life. I got to do this. Good, good for you. So I hated that job. Go. I hated that job. That guy, the guy that owned the place wasn't a machinist. He didn't understand what was going on. God, that's he, the hard times he was, too. He was a real desk jockey. Yeah. When you get an owner that doesn't know what goes on in the shop, that's like, it's difficult. It's hard. I always say that if you're not a machinist, like a decent, good machinist, you can't lead machinists. Right. Machinists are just a special breed. They don't respect leadership that doesn't actually do what they do. Machinists are artists. The way that their brains work, they can they can see the sculpture under the clay. That's Ooh. so cool. Great I call. Like that. I do too. All How right. long were you there? All in all, eight months. But well, what, there was an incident about four months into it, <laughs> <laughs> and I came home and I was pretty upset. And we were still dating at that point, and I was just complaining about it that like I didn't like this place, but it paid well, and you know, I didn't know what to do. And my wife very nonchalantly just says. Why don't you just start your own machine shop? And I was like, yeah. Like, you know, do you even know what it would take to start a machine shop? And she said, no. Do you? <laughs> but I, she does have a master's in business. She does. Yep. Right. She does. Uh, which I knew nothing about business at that point in life. And so I Googled it. <laughs> and Google said, go to the SBA. And I went there. And they said, write a business plan and come back. And so that's how come I stayed there for eight months. It took me Got you. four months of revisions to the business plan. But once I started, I couldn't stop. Yeah. I had to finish it, succeed or fail. I just had to finish that plan. I had put too much into it. And, yeah. so, and she helped me a lot with it, a lot. She, a lot of her you know, blood, sweat, and tears went into that half inch three ring binder that we Man. brought to the bank. What I, I love is that this is a husband and wife affair. And the wife is actually the CEO of the company. Yes, it can become a little daunting and you, you feel like giving up, right? Because you yeah. don't know what's on the other side of it but i am happy that we stuck it through and it was important that we stayed there for our employees because yeah, it's not just fun. us yep. that's riding on it's it right but it's family. the other 25 families that that count on us for their yep. weekly check we, we we succeed or we fail together my wife got us through the hard times she outsmarted those problems in a way that i don't know if i would have been able to navigate the same way yeah good stuff and then you and then you're just starting to dream now Right? You, you're doing that and you're starting to dream about it. I was gonna say, this is what, 2011, 2012? 2011. 2011, yeah, good stuff. So that's kind of nice. Timing wise, the recession kind of had Which passed. Just, yep. You know, we're starting to get into manufacturing, it's coming back in a, in a good way. People are getting busy again. So that was, that was good timing then on your part. There are a lot of companies that did not do well during that recession, and there are a lot of places up for sale. Yep. So I, I took a flight out to Michigan and I scooped up a couple of shops at auction and had all the stuff I needed shipped back. So they ended up just giving you a loan? They did. Yep. And then you went out? Shopping awesome. spree. It's a lot to start a shop, right? I mean, from nothing? Yeah. The problem is the momentum that as you know, so, you, so I'm a dreamer. I had a vision. I had no idea what I was doing and I had a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. All right, and I was like, I, well, I might need this thing one day. I should buy it. Knowing that it might sit there for two years. <laughs> but I gotta have it. So you don't know when you need no, that thing. Exactly. That's why you have to have it. Exactly. So I'll tell you, you know, word of, no word of a lie, that if my wife was not in it with me, I wouldn't be here with you guys today. Yeah. Um, I would have put us out of business a long time ago. Dreaming too big, like Icarus, and 
I didn't understand. I just sure. didn't understand a lot of that stuff. And I, I see a lot of new guys kind of coming up and getting into that. And I see they don't understand it either. Yeah. Um, and now I feel like now that we've learned it, that, you know, it's something we want to give back. We want to start helping. You know, if you bought a machine, you're starting up a shop. There are a lot of things you need to learn to get to the next level, to, to, to be able to feed yourself, honestly. Yeah, yeah. You know, stop working for free and not a passion project anymore and turn it into a real business. Yeah, and we're very, we're very grateful that, you know, Titan has always answered my call when I've called, you know, or gotten back to me as soon as he can. And he's been in, you know, all the spots that we've been in. Yeah. And so I'm, you know, what do I do now? He's always giving me some good advice and inspiration, which sometimes that's really all you need. 100% Ooh, agreed. You know? Yeah, inspiration is great. Yeah. And the, and they've been part of the community for a long time and small group. Small group number 3. Oh, number man. 3. Yeah, and proud of it. Hello. Run good it through, on you. We run it through our company. We we don't force people to do it, but we we ask them to. We tell them that it's available. Yeah. Um, we have a reward system in place that if you complete the first 10 you know, we'll give you an increase and we don't care what your job position is there. You can do shipping. Fantastic. How, how are you not more valuable to the company? Agreed. No, that's great stuff. And, and, and it gives them something to look forward to and aspire to, to, you know, give them a little bump after that. That's wonderful. Yeah, and we, we do it in a, in a unique way. Um, you know, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, but this is my way. Um, we don't let them do it at work. I don't pay them to do it. Okay. I feel that they need to put a little skin in the game. You know, what are we asking them to do? Go home, watch well, a YouTube time. video, yeah. spend a half an hour on your computer yeah, yeah. playing around. Yeah. You know, you play video games, then you should be doing this. Yeah, yeah. You know, Good invest call. in yourself and then I'll invest in you as well. And I that, agree that, with that's you. been that's been the whole thing about the academy from the beginning. It's like no excuses. Like no excuses. All these yep. young guys, they, they come up and then they, they're like they might ask a machinist in the corner one time like hey can you help me do this and then that person's busy and then they never ask again and then they're like i don't know how to pro i've been in front of this machine for 10 years and i don't know how to program and they won't teach me and it's like look if you want to actually program yep you can literally just go to titans of cnc academy go down to master cam actually just go through the tutorials go to the building blocks and just start knocking them out you know oh you don't have the cam then it's 160 bucks right there resources you get it for free and you can actually not for 160 dollars and then you can actually just learn how to program there's no easier way and it makes perfect sense you want to make good money programming you know learning the setups doing all of that it's going to help you increase your pay and it's like boom